If you're looking to give your 2024 Mustang that RTR look, then you're going to need these corner grills. These corner grills are specifically from the RTR Spec 2 package, and they're really gonna set off the front end. Now, if you pair these up with the lower grill, the splitter, and the upper grill, you're really gonna have that completed look. These corner pockets are gonna give your bumper a little bit more of an aggressive look, and they're pretty easy to install. So let's go ahead, pull out our factory ones, and then test out these new corner pockets and see how they look. First thing we need to do is pop off the radiator cover. Move all the clips and you'll be able to do so. With the bumper cover visible, we can now remove the bolts holding on the bumper cover on the top. Afterwards, pop the clips off the end and remove the weather strip. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that connect the bumper to the fender. You can either remove the fender liner and access them from that area, or you can go into the engine bay up here and access them from here. The next step is removing the four push clips here because they are connected to the bumper. After we remove that, we can pull the fender liner back and also disconnect the side marker lighting. Now we're gonna remove all the hardware that connects the under tray to the body of the Mustang. And then after that, we should be able to pull the bumper cover off. We can now remove the bumper cover. I will say when you go to remove it from the bumper to fender, there is a Christmas tree clip in there that can be an absolute pain. Just yank on it a good bit and eventually it'll break free. When removing the bumper cover to make sure to lift up on this top section here because there are some clips. And then after you get the bumper cover off, you will have a wiring harness to disconnect as well too. With the bumper cover on the table, we can remove the factory corner pockets and install our RTR corner pockets. We're gonna start off by removing the four bolts and then we'll pop it out of the clips and get this thing out of here. Now we're gonna disconnect all the clips to get this corner pocket out. We're gonna push up on the painted section. Kind of push the grill when you're doing this. Grab your RTR corner pocket and place it on the bumper and just clip it in. It'll fit in here just like the factory one did. Once you have your RTR quarter grill installed, you can grab the left side air duct or whatever side you're working on and reinstall that with the factory bolts we took out. Once you're wrapped up with the side that you're working on, repeat the exact same process on the opposite side.
pick up your bumper cover and install it to your Mustang. Don't forget to plug in the wiring harness on the driver's side of it. Once you have the top of the bumper cover in place, you're gonna to wanna to go under the vehicle like Bill is right now and line up the air ducts. After that, then you can start getting the bumper connected to the fender. Once you got those air ducts lined up, connect the bumper into the fender. And at this point, you can start reinstalling hardware. Before reinstalling the fender liner, connect the wiring harness to your side marker light in the bumper, and then simply put back in the push pins. Now at this point, we're gonna put the factory under tray back in it, and you're gonna want this front piece to be under the bumper. Once you get your factory under tray in, you can start putting in the factory hardware that you originally took out to get the tray out. Now that we have all the hardware done on the bottom side of the car and on the sides over here, it's time to put our bolts back in the top of the bumper cover. Once you have your bumper cover on and bolted down and you have your wiring ran, it's time to put the radiator cover back on. We're all wrapped up at the front end. We ended up installing the lower corner and upper RTR grill with those RTR signature lights. And besides that, we got our RTR chin splitter on here as well. I will say we ended up installing all of these pieces while we had the bumper cover off. So if you end up purchasing all of these pieces, make sure to just do it all at once. It'll save you a lot of time in the end. Now we are going to have all of these products linked down below in our description if you want to purchase any of them, but it's time to drop a gear and disappear. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to turn on those post notifications so you can see all of our future RTR videos. Thank you.